Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we're gonna to take this phone and this radio and we're gonna send some email without cellular or internet. At least without it on, on my side of the table here. The other side of the table, the other side of the, the equation, the, the server side, that's gotta be connected to the internet in order to get messages back and forth to the internet from RF, from ham radio. This is pretty cool stuff and it is something that the Vero radio, the Radiotity GA5WB and the BTEC UV Pro can all do without any wires because they have that included Bluetooth TNC. Let me show you some settings on the radio and then we'll send some mail back and forth using Wode, WinLink on Android. I had to come back in to get some of the lighting correct, so. This isn't as much fun as being outside, but set your dial frequency to the frequency of the Windlink gateway. In my case, it's 145.730. Set your power, you can see it's at low power, to the right amount of power to get the job done. And then there's a couple of other settings in here under radio settings. And squelch is one of them. I have the squelch currently set to two. If you set it down to zero, you're probably gonna have the best luck, but then your radio is gonna be making all kinds of noise like that. And then one, sometimes it'll chirp in and chirp out. And then two, it was okay for the job that I'm working on right now with the proximity I'm at. But if you're having trouble completing a session, either A, just try again, because that's kind of the way this thing works, or B, try changing your squelch settings in order to allow the radio to open its squelch faster for lower, lower signal reception strength. The other thing you want to do is get rid of this tail elimination. You can see how that's unchecked. And you want to get rid of digital mute, because it will actually silence all of the incoming traffic from the WinLink mail server, and therefore you won't get any WinLink mail. And then that's pretty much it as far as radio settings on like actual RF type stuff. There are some other settings in here under, I think it's under general. Go into connection and you don't have to worry about pairing if you're already paired. Under APRS settings, you want to enable KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Enable the KISS protocol. And then digital mode, you want to leave that disabled and then everything else I didn't have to change. All right, now we're back outside, as you can tell by the clouds overhead, and we're gonna have some more fun outdoors, because I like being outdoors. Here we have the Wode app, but first I wanna take this and I wanna put it into airplane mode, which turned off Wi-Fi, so we've got no internet connection whatsoever. I already have Wode downloaded. I wanna say off the top of my head by memory that it is about $8, which isn't bad for an email program. So I'm gonna hit, we'll wait for the truck to go by first. All right, I'm gonna hit open, and here is the WinLink program. So there's a couple of things we need to do to get it set up for ourselves properly. So settings, put in your call sign. I've got KM9G in there, which is me. So put in your own call sign and then your WinLink password. This is the password that we set up in the previous video when we created an account. If you don't have one, put gibberish in here and get started and that should become your password. And I believe if you can get past this without putting a password in, when you make your first connection, the first email you get back is going to be the, it's gonna be an email that includes your password. And then you can go to the website and you can reset your password and you can add your email address. And I've got a helicopter coming overhead now. And then all of the rest of the stuff that's on this screen, leave it at its defaults and then play with it after you get it working because there's a lot of stuff in here to play with, a lot of fun stuff to do. That's all you need to do is put in your call sign and your password and you're off to the races as far as having the program set up for your usage. One of the things that you need to do next though is to set it up for the gateway that you're trying to talk to. In my case, it is the Ktoads gateway and I already have it set up, but we're gonna go ahead and do a new one here add and then we're just going to go through the process of getting this set up and this will be set up in order to connect this phone to this radio so that we can make the connection properly and then that session will only work for this phone and that radio and if you want to do a different radio and a different server on the back side add another session go through the same process again just i'll timestamp the video so you can come back to this part and get moving right along real fast so i'm going to name the session and in this case i'm going to call it ktoad which is the name the call sign of the server, and I'm gonna do dash two because I already have one in here that I showed you earlier. And I'm just walking right down the list. Protocol, protocol is packet. Type is outgoing, because we wanna be able to send mail. Settings, destination address. In this case, we wanna leave RMS channel selection alone. 
The destination call sign is going to be KTODES. The destination SSID is 10. They're almost always 10. If they're not, you'll probably have noticed it and then you'll know what to put in here. But if you don't, put in 10. 10 will probably get you there. VIA. We can leave VIA alone. Run script after initial connect. No and no notes. So we go back once, which takes us back up a level in the settings. There's still a lot more settings to do. But now we've got our destination address. Now we need our TNC settings. All of these look good at their defaults. Again, after you get it working, if you want to tweak it a little bit, tweak it a little bit. TNC type is KISS, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. TNC configuration, connection type, Bluetooth, connection configuration, device, VRN76 out of the list, and then settings. We don't need to mess with any settings because that's really all there needs to be done. Scroll down to device manufacturer, generic is right. KISS port number, we leave that at zero. And then we hit the back button at the bottom of the Android screen to go back up a level. Again, we're still in the menu. Hit the back button again, back up a level, we're still in the menu. That takes us to auto connect. And I'm going to leave this at none, but you can toggle it so that when you first start Woad, it automatically connects and tries to download mail instead of having to do that as an extra step. Or you can have it connect every so many minutes or whatever the case may be. Again, this is at your discretion. Play with it after you get it all working. Message transfer is send and receive. And I don't need any notes. So I'm gonna click the three dots at the bottom and I'm gonna hit save. And then it says it has been saved and I'm gonna go back one. Now, I haven't done anything. I haven't configured a message. I haven't read any mail. I haven't replied to any mail. I haven't looked any farther. I'm just gonna hit connect, which should connect my radio to the radio server and after a couple of minutes of exchange, it should tell me that I don't have any mail and good luck, or you do have some mail and I've downloaded it. So let's go ahead and hit play now at the bottom of the screen and it's gonna start connecting and the radio should start making some noise. There we go. So I'm gonna look at the logs and then this program stop program started, that happens whenever you flip the screen side to side. So don't be alarmed about that. But now we can see some traffic coming back and forth. So the Windling Gateway has replied. It said this is KTOADS 10 DigiPi. It has connected. It's now connected to the CMS, the mail server on the back side. The Gateway has connected to the mail server on the back side. And then here it shows you how many bytes have been sent and received. And then we have a disconnect because I have no new mail. What we've done is we've just proven that this thing works and you kind of heard it chirping along in the background. Back to the beginning page. So, so we've got it working, we've got a working connection. What do we do now? So at the top of your screen, you'll see this pencil icon. If you click that, you get the ability to compose a new message. And it looks a lot like composing a new message would look if it were regular email or something along those lines. You wanna type in who it goes to, you could send it to me. If I can type in my own call sign properly, you can put in a comma or a semicolon, and then you can put in more users. Like this is Jason, if I can type in his call sign properly. And then this is Craig, so you could do all that. One of the interesting things about Winlink is you can't send an email to yourself, but they've got you covered. They've kind of figured this out. If, if you send an email to yourself, it creates this loop in the system and, and things go crazy and, and we don't want things to go crazy. We want things to work. So they've just basically just disabled that. If you ever try to send a message to yourself, it's just not going to happen. I don't even think you're gonna get an error. It just, just won't happen. So what they did instead is they allow you to send a message to test. So I'm gonna send a message to test. I'm gonna enter in the subject, test from Bluetooth, kiss TNC, test number one, in case I happen to have to need to test this multiple times for some reason. Now, you, you, there's no like send button here because it's not the way that WinLink works. At the bottom, you'll see this icon right here that says post to outbox. So if you tap that button, it is now posted to the outbox and you have a message ID, but the radio hasn't gone crazy, nothing's going anywhere, it's just sitting in your outbox. And the reason for that is because WinLink is a very slow protocol because of the nature of ham radio and the government restrictions we have on our data speeds. So what you wanna do is go through and read messages, create messages, reply to messages, do all of that stuff, send it all to your outbox, then make one connection session. You can sit your computer down, you can sit your phone down, and you can go do something else while this service is running. The service will take care of doing your every 10 minute ID if it takes more than 10 minutes. If there are problems with packets, it will go ahead and retry the packets. It's a very resilient service overall. It's very well built, but there are some complications and we work around those complications by posting to the outbox. So if I go into the hamburger menu in the top left, I can see my outbox and I can see that message that I just typed in, but I wanna get it out over the airwaves. I wanna get it sent. If I hit the three dots in the upper right corner, you have to get used to all these three dots and three bars and three line stuff. There is a sessions drop down. So we're gonna hit sessions and then there is KTOADS2 that we just created. So I highlight that in purple by tapping on it. Tap on any one of these ones that you want. 
but I want Ktoads 2, and I hit the play button at the bottom. And then we'll go and view the logs. And then it says, message, message ID has been sent to all recipients, the second line on the log line, and then we have a disconnect. So if we go back to vertical mode, I will have another message up here that says, has been sent to all recipients, excellent. If we go back into our outbox, our outbox is now empty. If we go into our inbox, our inbox is also not updated because I have sent the message to test and it disconnected. Now test is, the server is processing that message on the back end and then I need to reconnect, and that will send the message back to me. So I'm gonna go back into Sessions, pick Ktoads 2, which was already picked, and then I'm gonna hit Play again, and we're off again. So if we look, message was received from service, Excellent. And if we go back into our inbox, the following message was received by the WinLink test message reflector. Subject, test from Bluetooth KISS TNC from KM9G to test. And the body of the message said, test one. So we got it. That is just how easy it is to get the Bluetooth TNC working with WinLink on Android and getting things working. The hardest thing you're gonna have with two meter wind link is finding a two meter wind link gateway in your area. I'm pretty excited. This radio keeps getting better and better every time they release a new firmware update. This is the Bluetooth KISS TNC firmware update. And if you don't have it, I've got a video up here showing you how to do it. I've got links in the description down below for the three different flavors of this radio. Click on each of them, figure out which one suits your fancy, which one has the best price, which one has the best support and the best service or the best discount available. I can get you 10, 10% off or $10 off at Vero. I can get you $15 off at Radiotity, or the last one is the BTEC UV Pro over at Amazon and whatever Amazon specials happen to be running at the time. All three of them are the same radio. They all have the same firmware in them. The Vero you can get in a couple of colors and I am pretty happy with this red one. You're not gonna get this one away from me anytime soon. Be sure you are subscribed to the channel because I'm gonna have a whole lot more WinLink videos out in the future with different radios and different modes and so on. We've got RDOP and Packet and VARA and HF and all kinds of other ways that we gotta get this stuff done. In the meantime, there's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.